Good morning from Hawks and Native Seeds. We're out here harvesting our rough blazing star. Peyton and Nick have been working hard at the hand harvest, keeping up on those early uh, plants that have gone to seed. And uh, it's now time to get in here with the direct cutter and get the chopping and loading on the wagons. So you saw how uh, the product was getting blown out of the chopper into the wagon here. We can take a look. Everything kind of mounds up in one spot in here. So I have to go through with my uh, pitchfork and level it out so that it'll dry nice and evenly. So that's what I'm up to right now. And voila. All right, so this afternoon we are out here harvesting our prairie drop seed. You might remember us swathing that a week ago. So we're out here with the All Crop 72 Old Type Combine to uh, pick up the seed. And we're kind of doing it in two different ends. We have a lighter end where uh, it's a more recent plant. We're uh, doing uh, our older stand here that's a little bit thicker. So uh, that's what Carol's doing right now. Nick is here. <sighs> Separating the fuzzies from the seed for our world milkweed. Okay, good morning, Hoxie Native Seeds. I have my stocking cap on because it is that time of year. In my opinion, the best time of year. I'd much rather be cold than uh, smoking hot. So uh, I'm loving the weather, uh, but we're back here in the uninsulated part of the shop where we do all of our seed cleaning. Carol and I have spent the morning getting everything straightened up for that. So uh, we're going to continue getting ready to go. And we're going to clean all of this Ohio spider wart and get ready for Indian grass and big blue. Okay, now that the shop is nice and dusty, uh, we got the big cleaner, seed cleaner, all uh, blasted out with air. Uh, we're getting some uh, wagons moved in now to collect junk, it's just chaff coming off as we uh, clean the seed. And um, you can see here we got a mound of Ohio spiderwort on the floor there. That'll get lifted up to that platform once that platform is uh, clear. All right, I was able to get out of the shop and come on out to watch Carol do some uh, harvesting of our Canlo switchgrass. Uh, this is a really tall species of, well, I guess I shouldn't say species variety of switchgrass. And uh, it's really useful to hunters. Uh, it serves as great cover for pheasants and also for uh, deer. You can use it to uh, you know, create a nice uh, screen for you to walk into your hunting property so you don't alarm the deer as you're heading to your tree stand and uh, just very popular among hunters for those reasons. So uh, I'm out here watching. You can kind of see here how tall we cut this off at. It's about, oh, two and a half feet tall, I'd say. And we're just trying to eliminate the amount of uh, uh, silage that we get with the seed easier to clean that way but also it serves still as habitat for uh, especially uh, ground nesting birds during those uh, cold months that are just around the corner
Good morning from Hoxie Native Seeds. Today we are out here harvesting our New England Aster Field using the direct cut chopper, spraying the uh, product back into the wagon and then uh, we'll have to dry it out in the dryer floor of the wagon and then uh, we'll get to cleaning it here this late fall or winter. All right, we got the John Deere chopper on here and we got this uh, big conveyor wagon that we're loading all of our uh, product onto and uh, we're heading over to the stiff goldenrod field. Friday from Hoxie Native Seeds. We're over here unloading our stiff goldenrod. Got the 185 hooked up to this badger wagon here. It's got a conveyor on the floor and then one at the front of the wagon that offloads onto the elevator that you see over here. And then up into our big uh, box wagon there. So uh, that's what we're up to right now. I figured my position was too good not to get some footage for uh, Nicholas here. Uh, I'm up on top of the, uh, this is Stiff Goldenrod Wagon here. And you can see I have quite the bird's eye view. But uh, here leveling off the wagon. As you can see when it comes off the elevator, it mounds up in the center and uh, makes it tougher to get everything nice and evenly dried. So uh, we got some heat coming in this weekend. If the seed and the silage is wet, it'll hold in some of that heat because the water's uh, high heat capacity and that heat can hurt the germ in our seed. So I'm up here raking her down. Welcome to the dusty confines of the Hoxie Seed Cleaning Shop. Cleaning some rough blazing star today. Uh, one of our most uh, beautiful species this summer. It just really it came up nice. Nick is here sneaking behind me. Nick, don't put your face so close to the computer. I hate for Nick to be the bearded by the computer. Nick, the viewers want to hear from you. What? Don't stick your foot down that hole. I can't hear anything. They can't hear anything I'm saying, hopefully you can. But uh, that's what we're running today, rough blazing stock. 